Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Skin Pigmentation Disorders Introduction Pigmentation means coloring. Skin pigmentation disorders affect the color of your skin. Skin pigmentation disorders may cause your skin to darken. They may also cause lighter patches of skin. Treatment depends on the disorder. This program explains skin pigmentation disorders. It covers common skin pigmentation disorders and their treatments. The skin and its color. The skin is the body's outer covering. It protects us against heat, sunlight, injury, and infection. The skin also helps regulate body temperature, produces vitamin D, stores water and fat. The skin has two main layers, the outer epidermis and the inner dermis. The deeper part of the epidermis contains melanocytes. Melanocytes are pigment cells. They produce melanin, the pigment that gives skin its natural color. Melanin also contributes to hair and eye color. When skin is exposed to the sun, melanocytes produce more pigment. This causes the skin to tan or darken. Melanin makes the skin darker to protect it from the sun. Without enough melanin, the skin cannot protect itself, which leads to a sunburn. Our skin color is determined by how much melanin our melanocytes produce. People with darker skin have cells that produce a lot of melanin. People with lighter skin have cells that produce less melanin. The next sections cover common skin pigmentation disorders, including albinism, vitiligo, melasma. Albinism. Albinism is an inherited disorder affecting all of a person's skin. People with albinism inherited one or more abnormal genes, which limit melanin production. In people with albinism, the skin makes little or no melanin. Not all people with albinism have pale white skin. People with albinism have skin that is white, tan, or brown. In some cases, skin may be almost the same color as parents or siblings who don't have albinism. Most people with albinism are sensitive to sun exposure. Sun exposure can bring on the following skin changes. Freckles. Large spots known as lentigines. Moles that may or may not be a different color than the skin. Some people with albinism may even develop the ability to tan with exposure to the sun, but most people with albinism sunburn and are at an increased risk of developing skin cancer. Hair color can be affected by albinism. It can be white, brown, yellow, or red-toned. Hair color may also change by early adulthood. Eye color in people with albinism can be light blue to brown. Light-colored eyes can look red in certain types of lighting. This happens because you are seeing light reflected off the back of the eye. It is similar to the red-eye effect that happens in flash photography. All forms of albinism cause problems with the eyes. This is because melanin also plays a role in the development of certain nerves in the eyes. Eye problems might include being very nearsighted or farsighted, inability of both eyes to move together, quick back and forth eye movements, sensitivity to light. There is no cure for albinism. Prescription lenses can help improve vision. Surgery may be needed to treat some eye problems caused by albinism. People with albinism need yearly eye and skin exams during their lifetime. Eye exams check for vision problems. Skin exams check for skin cancer or spots that can turn into cancer. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Vitiligo Vitiligo is a disorder that causes white patches of skin on the body and face. It may affect the mouth, nose, and eyes. 
Vitiligo happens when the cells that give skin its color are destroyed. It can start at any age. Symptoms usually appear between the ages of 10 and 30. White patches are more common on parts of the skin that are exposed to sunlight. These areas include the arms, hands, and feet, as well as the face and lips. The affected skin can lighten or turn completely white. Sometimes the white patches can spread to other parts of the body. This may happen slowly or quickly. Often vitiligo appears in certain patterns, including generalized, which affects the entire body, segmental, which causes symptoms on just one side of the body, focal, which affects only a few areas of the body. People with vitiligo may also have hair that turns gray early. Those with dark skin may notice a loss of color inside their mouths. No one knows what causes vitiligo. It might be an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases happen if the immune system attacks your own body by mistake. When a person has vitiligo, the immune system may destroy melanocytes. It is also possible that vitiligo is a genetic disorder. This means that a person's genes make them more likely to get vitiligo. More research is needed to understand the cause of vitiligo. Vitiligo is not dangerous to your health. Treatments can help make the skin look better in some cases. Using sunscreen will help protect affected skin, and cosmetics can cover up patches. Medical treatments for vitiligo include medicines, light therapy, depigmentation, and surgery. Melasma. Melasma causes gray-brown, bluish, or brown patches of facial skin. It often affects the bridge of the nose, cheeks, chin, forehead, skin above the upper lip. Melasma can be triggered by exposure to the sun. The forearms and neck are other common places where melasma may show up. Women get melasma much more often than men. In fact, pregnant women often get melasma due to hormonal changes. In pregnant women, people refer to it as the mask of pregnancy or cloasma. Since birth control pills and hormone replacement medicine affect the body's hormones, they can trigger melasma. Skin care products such as cosmetics may irritate the skin. This can worsen melasma. Healthcare providers do not know what causes melasma. It likely happens when pigment cells in the skin make too much color. People with darker skin tones are more at risk for melasma. This is because they have more melanocytes that darken the skin than people with lighter skin. Melasma may fade on its own over time. This may happen when a trigger that is causing the melasma, such as pregnancy or birth control pills, ends or is stopped. Some people have melasma for many years or for their entire life. Melasma is not dangerous to your health. Treatments can help make the skin look better in some cases. Medicines applied to the skin can help lighten dark patches. In some cases, multiple medicines may be used at the same time. If medicines do not get rid of your melasma, a procedure may help. Procedures include chemical peel, dermabrasion, microdermabrasion, laser or light treatment. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Pigmentation means coloring. Skin pigmentation disorders affect the color of your skin. They may cause your skin to darken. They may also cause lighter patches of skin. Common skin pigmentation disorders include albinism, vitiligo, Melasma. Skin pigmentation disorders affect melanocytes. Melanocytes are pigment cells in the epidermis. They produce melanin, the pigment that gives skin its natural color. Melanin also contributes to hair and eye color. In most cases, the cause of skin pigmentation disorders is not known. Albinism is an inherited disorder affecting all of a person's skin. In people with albinism, the skin makes little or no melanin. Vitiligo is a disorder that causes white patches of skin on the body and face. It may affect the mouth, nose, and eyes. 
Melasma causes gray-brown, bluish, or brown patches of facial skin. It often affects the bridge of the nose, cheeks, chin, forehead, skin above the upper lip. Talk to your health care provider if you have the symptoms of a skin pigmentation disorder. Treatment for skin pigmentation disorders depends on the disorder. It may include medicines, surgery, or other procedures. Thank you for using Explain.